Hi guys, it's Tori and I'm kind of pre-filming today so you're going to see this outfit in a couple of videos. Sorry, not sorry. Um, so today I am doing my intro for the Beauty A to Z Project Pan that's in collaboration with the Pantastic Ladies here on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I will have the Facebook page linked down below um, if you want to join in any future projects or this project. This project starts um, January 1st and runs to the end of the year, so December 31st. You pick, um, you pick a project, or pick a project. You pick um, a product for each letter of the alphabet. So, you know, A, B, C, so on. So we're just gonna jump right into it because there is 26 products that we're gonna have to go through, so it might be a little long. So my first item is this, I think this is pronounced Arty and Athene. Um, I'm not really sure. Um, this is the Spiced Pumpkin Latte Hand Lotion. This was a gift from my future mother-in-law. Um, it is pretty much completely full. I did mark it back here. I have used it like once or twice. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much brand new. And my goal in this project is to use this completely up. I am awful at using lotion and that's something I need to be better at. So hopefully this will force me to actually use this. So for B, I have this Bath and Body Works. This is the Warm Vanilla Sugar Fragrance Mist. Um, I have used this a couple of times, but not that much. This is where I am currently at, and my goal for this project is to also use this up and get um, this out of my collection. It's just sitting there currently, so. For C, I have this, I believe it's pronounced Laga Cloud Lips. This came in, I want to say like a BoxyCharm. Um, this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really beautiful color. I'm just, I usually wear liquid lipstick, so I'm kind of trying to branch out from that. This is brand new. I have never worn it. This is the color. Um, I'll try to give you guys a little swatch. I've never worn it. It's a beautiful color. Um, like I said, just usually not what I would go for. Um, so, and my goal for this is that I want to use it 30 times in this project. So we'll see how that goes. For D, I have this Dove Glowing Excellent Mango Butter and Almond Butter um, Body Wash. This is a travel size that I got in a Meyer, an, a Meyer box, I believe. Um, I have not used it, but I did mark it. This is where this is at. And my goal for this is to use this up. For E, I have my Essence Primer, Fresh and Fit Awake Primer, Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. This is nearly empty. Um, I am right here at this black line. I didn't realize it was so empty when I put it in here. Um, so my goal obviously is to use this up and I think, well, I, not that I think, I know I can have this done by the next update as long as I actually use it. That's the problem. Um, so this should be gone by the first update. The next item I have is for F. This is this, this is, um, the Frank Body Brightening Vitamin C Mask. This is brand new. I believe this came in a boxy charm. Um, it says it's a gentle resurfacing mask made from native Australian fruit enzymes designed to reveal brighter, clearer skin. Apply a thick layer to clean skin, rub in circular motions for 30 seconds, and leave on for five minutes. Rinse, use two to three times per week. So my goal for this one is just to use this 20 times. I am terrible at masking. So if I even use this 20 times, I will be happy with that. Um, I don't expect to use this whole thing up. Like I said, it is brand new. I could not see through the packaging to market, so I have no idea how much product is actually 
in here but like i said i just want to use it 20 times and get some use out of this one the next item i have is for g these are gen skin um hydrating marine algae eye patches um 30 of them came in here and i have used them two or three times um i'm not exactly sure i can't remember but it's two or three i've used them um, they are nice. You apply them for 10 to 15 minutes and then take them off. Um, I don't think I'll have this used up by the next update, but maybe by the second or third update, these will be gone. And the next item I have is for H. This is a Hikari eyeliner. It is just a black one. Um, I got this in a subscription box, I think Ipsy, a long time ago. This is how much of the eyeliner I have left. It's not a lot, but this will probably take me a good couple of months to use up. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I have been really bad at like wearing eyeliner lately, so I'm going to try to use it more um, and hopefully get this used up within a couple of months. There's not a lot left, so it shouldn't take me that long, but we'll see how it goes. The next one is for the letter I. This is the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow um, Face Mist. Um, I am about halfway, I would say about halfway done with this. I have marked it right here. Um, so my goal for this is to get this used up. I have like five or six setting sprays right now. I don't need that many. So I want to try to use this up completely. I have another one that I'm working on that's like almost gone. So I didn't want to put it in a project. I mean, like it literally has like this much left. Um, so I'm not going to be really focusing on this one until I use that one up. But this should be no problem to use up before the end of the project. The next is for the letter J. This is the John Frieda Vibrant Shine 3-in-1 Shine Spray says glossy shine, detangling, and heat protection. Um, I believe this came in a Meyer box as well. And I have not used it, but I did mark it, and I am currently right here. Um, this will probably take me a couple of months to use up, just because I only wash my hair like once or twice a week, and that is normally like when I would apply this. I don't use a lot of heat on my hair. Um, so this will probably take me a couple of months to use. The next is the letter K. And I have this Catherine Natural Cosmetics Highlighter. And I think it's in the shade Sienna's Highlight. Yep, Sienna's Highlight. This is what it currently looks like. I have a decent sized pan going in this. So right now I'm going to say my goal is to use up like half of it. Um, once I use up half of it, we'll see like where we're at. I would like to finish this and get a highlighter moved out of my collection, but I'll be happy if I just get half of it. So we'll see how it's, how it's going here in a couple of months and I'll, I might readjust this goal. So we'll see. For the letter L, I have this tips up, tipped upside down. But this is the Lottie London Selfie Ready Foundation. I've had this for a long time. I believe I bought it from Ulta. It is so, 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 so close to being gone. Like, this should be gone by the next update. I mean, I probably literally only have a few uses left. I kind of forgot about this foundation and just stopped using it. But it's actually a really nice foundation. So I just want to get it used up and get it out of my collection so I don't have just... A bottle with a couple of uses of foundation left sitting in my collection. The next item I have is this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is in the shade 10 Fair. This, I would like to use this up and get this out of my collection. This is not my color at all. It is too yellow for me. Um, so I can really only use it as like a um, eyeshadow base. I, I mean, this has, like, got to be, I mean, this is pretty full. Um, so I don't know if I'll, hopefully I'll be able to use it all up before the end of this project. At the end of the year, if I still have it, I might just declutter it because it's just, it's not my color. It's, 
way, way, way too yellow. I tried to use it on my under eyes today and I had to go over it with a different concealer because it's just so off. I am like porcelain, white, like very, very cool skin, like, and this is just, it's too dark and it's extremely yellow. So this is kind of like, mm, I just want it. I want this out of my collection. For the letter N, I have this NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color California. This is a gorgeous color. I think this is like getting close to being done and gone. Um, I have it down that I want to use 20 times. Once I hit that goal, if there's still some left but I'm like close to finishing, I'll probably just keep it in until I finish it. So this is a nice everyday color for me. It's like my lip color but better. Um, I'll try to give you guys like a, a swatch. So that is the color right there. I don't know, it looks really nice on me. So I wanna try to use it 20 times and then we'll see where we're at and maybe readjust. The next item is for the letter O. It is this OGX Nourishing Coconut Milk Shampoo. So this is a travel size that I believe came in in a Meyer, in a Meyer box as well. Um, I have not used it and this is where it is currently sitting. Obviously, I would like to use this up. It'll probably take a couple months because like I've mentioned in this video, I only wash my hair a couple times a week. So, um, and I'm working on another shampoo currently that I would like to try to use up before this one, but it'll definitely be done by the end of the project. The next um, item is for the letter P. This is Beauty by Pop Sugar. This is um, Make Waves Liquid Metallic Eye Color, and it is in the shade You Glow Girl. So I have not ever used this one time um, I don't even think I've ever swatched it. I don't even know what it looks like. So I'm going to have to swatch it and show you guys. Um, my goal for this is just to use it 10 times. Um, cause like I said, I've literally never used it. I, it's just been, it's been in my collection for a while now too. And it's just getting, I'm not getting any use out of it. And I mean, it's all right. I just swatched it on my hand. I mean, it's okay. That's the color right there. I feel like it's just very liquidy. So I don't know how much I would like that. I mean, I don't know if it dries down. I'll have to see. Um, so that kind of makes me nervous to use it. But I really don't want to declutter it because I did spend money on it. I think I bought it from Ulta. And I'm the type of person, like, I don't like to throw things away if I've spent, well, even if I haven't spent money on it. Oh, it's kind of... It's kind of drying down. Like, maybe I could put it underneath an eyeshadow or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to play around with this and see what works and what doesn't work for it. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, So, the letter Q is next. And this one is kind of a stretch. Um, This is my Wet n Wild quad. And I chose quad for Q. So, like I said, it's kind of a stretch. This, this one is in Petal It. Um, so my goal for this is just to use this five times. I have a bunch of these, the little wet and wild quads just sitting in my collection and I have not used them. I don't even think I have used this. Well, it looks like I have used it a couple of times because the embossing that says transition is kind of wiped off and there's like a swatch or something taken from there. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I just, I have so many eyeshadows that it's hard for me to use them all, but so five times and I don't know if I will use this five times by the next update, but it should only take me a couple of months to use this five times. The next letter is R and I have this Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. I really love this concealer. If you can't tell, I mean, I literally have this much left. Like, this should be done by the next update as well. Um, yeah, 
It is a nice concealer. I have just had it for a long time and it is time for it to get used up and get moved out of my collection. So next is the letter T and I have this Trustique Mascara, um, the Good Vibes Mascara. I don't mind this mascara in terms of what it does for my lashes, but I hate this packaging. So it's like supposed to have like this little like wand curler, but like, come on, really, what is this? Like, I can't even curl a third of my lashes with this. So it's essentially, it's just really bulky packaging. And I have so many other eye mascaras. I just want to get this one used up and moved out of my collection. Um, I'm going to be trying to wear makeup more, even though I'm just a stay at home mom right now. Um, so hopefully this will only take me a couple of months to use up and get this out of my collection. The next is for the letter U. This is the Ulta eyeshadow in Under the Sea. Mine is pretty beat up. I mean, this is what it looks like. There's only a little bit of product left on the inside of the pan. My goal for this currently is to use it. 15 times and then we'll kind of see like how how it's going and where I'm at I'm gonna give you guys a little swatch I mean it's kind of it's kind of a light color I don't know how well you can really see that I mean maybe I don't know it's pretty but I don't wear a lot of greens and essentially eventually I'd like to get this used up and out of my collection for good. Um, I don't think it's a shade I would repurchase. So this one also is kind of a stretch. This is for the letter V. I have this Oprah liquid lipstick in the shade Napa Valley. It is this like dark metallic purple. I have not worn this in a long time. Um, I used to wear it quite a bit. I mean, it's, I mean, I've even got some windowing in here. You can't really tell on camera, but I used to wear this quite a bit. And then I stopped being so bold with my, um, makeup. And so I would just like to use this five times. I want to try to get more out of my comfort zone. So five times, and then I'm going to call this good. It might take me a minute. So we'll see how this, how this one goes. The next is for the letter W. This is my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, I have already used up the setting powder side a long time ago. And then, oh, and this is in Dolce de Leche. Um, so I have like that much left. I just repressed this as well. Um, so I really don't have that much product left, and this is my favorite bronzer. Um, it's still going to take me a while to use that up because that is still quite a bit of product. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try to kind of start from up here and like work my way down with it. So we'll see where I'm at next month with this, but my goal is to get this used up and get this out of my collection. I have other bronzers that I can work on and focus on. So the next is for the letter X and I chose this NYX NYX Professional Makeup. This is their eyeshadow base and white pearl. My goal is to use this up. This is currently what the inside looks like. It does have a nice dip into it, um, but there is still quite a bit of product on the sides. I am wearing it today underneath my makeup. It does a really good job making the like shimmer shades stick to your eyes. So I do like it. Um, but yeah, I don't really use a lot of eyeshadow bases. So it's just time to get this one kind of moved, um, used up and get it out of my collection. I just realized I completely skipped a letter. I skipped the letter S. So I'm just going to throw that in right here. Um, I was looking at the products and I was like, man, I really 
yeah so I just completely dawned on me that I skipped a letter and the letter that I skipped was the letter S and for that I just have this suave um, shampoo and conditioner foil packet sample so this should be gone by next month I'll probably use this um, like this weekend when I wash my hair so yep that is that and I'm sorry that's kind of throwing the video off a little bit but it's whatever we're just gonna roll with it so now back to the original order um, I have the letter Y and this one is kind of a stretch again this is the Hank and Henry um, eyeliner in blickety black this is what I'm wearing today I really do like this eyeliner I thought I didn't but it's actually really nice um, I don't know how much I have left but I'm just gonna use it until it's gone and I chose this for the letter Y because it has a Y in it I didn't have any other products that started with a Y that I could find so I just chose this one and we're just gonna roll with it so yep I would like to use this up and get this out of my collection I have a lot of other eyeliners and I'm never gonna stop buying makeup I'm not ever gonna put myself on a low buy um, so I'm going to have more makeup coming in. So I would like to get some of it used up if I can. Very, very last item is this Azuline Soothing Cream by Sir Medic. And it is for letter Z. And I chose that for the Z in Azuline. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't know. It is just this little um, deluxe sample size. I don't know. Maybe came in like an Ipsy. I don't remember. I have so many products that came from so many different places. But... I am right here at this black line. If this is like another mask situation, if I really focus on this, I should be able to have this done by next month, by the next update. Um, I'm going to really push for that and try to make this my goal. Um, I should be able to finish a couple of items by the next update or hit my goal on them. So I'm hoping I have some progress to show you guys and some goals met, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, sorry, I kind of noticed while I'm filming the light is kind of going in and out. It is like five o'clock and it is storming, so I'm right by my window and the lights just kind of being iffy so sorry about that but that is everything if you guys are doing the a to z project pan i would love to know please comment below list your link your instagram or your youtube i would love to check it out and i would love to follow along with your journey please hit the subscribe button like share comment it would mean a lot to me and i hope you guys are having a great day and i hope you guys are having a happy new year um, and I hope you guys have been staying safe with the crazy weather that we have been having. Thanks, guys. Bye.